President Qais Saeed acted quickly after more than half Tunisia's parliament tried to conduct an online session in defiance of him. He immediately dissolved parliament, saying the session was a failed coup and a conspiracy against state security. Al Jumhuri Party and its allies condemned the president's actions. We consider the president's decision to dissolve the parliament one of his many unconstitutional actions ever since he grabbed power in the 25th of July. This is a dangerous decision leading to the unknown. We hold the president responsible for all that comes next. The MPs who met yesterday were summoned by substitute justice. Syed went on to declare he is drafting a new constitution, which will be put to a referendum on July 25. Elections will then be held in December, adding conspirators will be forbidden from running, a blatant reference to opposition politicians. The president's decision is illegal. He dissolved the parliament after dissolving the Supreme Judicial Council and the anti-corruption authority, and now he has all the powers in his hand. But there was some support for the president's actions. The president's decision is a gift to the people and we thank him for it. We did not have a parliament. It was a cartel which violated the country, companies, administrations, people's food and youth's freedom and future. Most political parties and public figures have called the president's decision illegal. And like many members of the public who say the decision is eight months too late. Although the president has had the support of many Tunisians since he took office in 2019, this latest escalation of the country's political crisis is making ordinary citizens wary that Saeed is seizing more and more power every day. Ahmed Gaddah, TRT World, Tunis.